What's up YouTubers, this is Lawrence and today we are going to be taking a look at this mini handheld sewing machine that I got from Amazon for only $6.99. Now I've been told that in China this sells for about a dollar on the streets and that it's too cheap to be sold in any real stores. So in this video we will be going over the setup, explain how it works, and finally put it to the test. Taking a look at the box we can see that the instructions are just in terrible broken English. You can pause it here to laugh along if you'd like. Now, I don't like to read, so it's okay, I don't need instructions anyway. And at first glance, you want to hold it like this, just like a stapler. However, you should think of it as an upside down stapler. It should be used like this. Now here is the spool and the thread. It goes through the guide up here, around this, the tensioner. And I noticed that it works best if you put the thread from behind the needle coming out forward. You can pull this open and later we'll look at exactly how this sewing machine works and how it ties the knot. This thing is definitely cheap. It looks like they just repurposed a stapler and put a needle on it. Um, I can imagine that it's difficult to use because in a sewing machine you have two hands free. However, if you're operating the stapler mechanism here, you're basically sewing with only one hand to control all of the fabric. I'm going to be sewing this piece of paper just to test it out first. And first I want to insert the paper between this thing right here. And you can see the clearance between the needle and the paper isn't that much. So whatever you're sewing, it can't be that thick. Now there's this string hanging out the end. I found it best to get it out of the way first. So you have to thread it through and hold on to it. If you let it stick up, then it's actually going to get in the way of your sewing. So let me cut this off real quick. Okay, so here's our sew that we just made. Here's the top side. And here's the back side. Now you can see it's using a change stitch. There's only one thread. And you can see that it missed a couple holes here. A couple stitches. Now I notice when it misses a couple stitches, this whole thing can just open right up. I noticed that you have to punch pretty slowly, you can't go too fast, and you have to make slow, secure presses for this thing to operate perfectly. This is a spring that holds down the material, and every time you press the top part, like a stapler, you can see that it makes an action right down here to move the medium that you are sewing onto over just a little bit. So you actually don't have to pull it over. These stitches are automatically spaced each time. So we take a look at the underside of this. While we are sewing, we can exactly see what happens here. The needle goes through. The hook catches it. And it moves to the next stop over. So once again, the needle goes through. The hook catches it again and it moves over. Now that we've seen how it works, I'm going to try to sew back together my shirt because I don't like to buy clothes. And here we have a big tear on the armpit that you see. So I've changed the thread for a red thread and I use a longer spool adapter. And here's what it looks like from the other side. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, this thing was kind of difficult to use, especially with soft fabrics. It's probably worth only a dollar. Took me about five shots to make that sewing scene. Guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Have a good day.